Okay, so today what we're gonna be doing is taking the black paper that you got in your supply kit at the beginning of the year. You should have gotten a piece of nine by 12 black construction paper. Um, and we're gonna be placing a one inch grid all the way across this piece of paper. So you can see it here. I've already done it on this black paper, that way you can see it. But I'm gonna demonstrate what you're gonna be doing today on white paper that I've just taken out of my mixed media sketchbook, um, just so you can see more clearly what I'm doing. But you will need to draw it on your black paper with just a pencil and a ruler. So I'm gonna begin by taking my piece of paper and turning it horizontally. And with my ruler, I'm gonna look and see where the zero is. And I'm gonna place that zero line up against near that very top edge. And line the zero up with the edge of my piece of paper. And at every one inch increment, I'm gonna put a little vertical tick mark. So where the one is, two, and so on, all the way down the page at each inch. And remember, the inches are the longest line. And you wanna make sure that your pencil marks line up exactly above those one inch increments. Precision is extremely important with this step of a grid drawing project. Now, I have created my, my tick marks all the way across, all the way over to my 11. My paper is actually just a smidge smaller than 12 inches, but I think that's just because it came from the manufacturer that way. So it's okay, it won't make a big difference. And then you're gonna take your ruler and slide it down to the bottom of the paper. Don't try to turn your paper and flip your ruler or do anything strange like that. All I want you to do is where it's lined up at the top, simply slide it down and line it up at the bottom. And I'm just gonna line the bottom edge of the ruler up right there, line the zero back up with the edge of my piece of paper, and do that same process again. Make a tick mark at every one inch across the page. One trick that helps me do this well is to make sure that I move my head along the ruler where I'm looking directly above the part that I'm making a tick mark. This helps me make sure that my lines line up perfectly with the ruler and that they don't become um, slanted or, or off just a little bit. And then once you have your tick marks at the top and the bottom of your page, you're gonna take your ruler and match it up with each one of those. Make sure that it's lined up very carefully, very, very carefully and hold the ruler nice and steady. And you're gonna draw a line all the way across. Now this line doesn't need to be particularly dark. Um, just make it enough to where, as you're drawing this on your black paper, you can see, um, you can see it show up. And then you're gonna slide down and continue that for each set of tick marks. So when you get finished, you should have a nice, neat row of lines. They should all look perfectly parallel to one another. You shouldn't have lines that are tilted or leaning. They should be perfectly matched up in one inch increments. Then you're gonna turn your paper vertically and we're gonna repeat that process along the short side. So take your ruler, line up the zero at the top with the edge of the paper and make a tick mark at every inch. Once you have that finished, slide down to the bottom of the page and repeat. So now you should have tick marks at the bottom and tick marks at the top. 
It's always extremely important when you're drawing a grid that you measure at the top and bottom because if you only measure on one and you just try to guess what straight looks like on your ruler, eventually you'll end up with lines that are tilted and crooked. So that's why it's very, very important that you have um, two different tick marks that you can match up to make sure everything is perfectly level and perfectly even. And then you're gonna simply connect those tick marks as well. finished you should have a piece of paper that looks like this except yours is drawn out on your black piece of construction paper now I do want to point out at this point in the stage I want you to keep the opposite side the back of this really nice and clean don't get any pencil marks on it or anything like that because what we're actually going to do with this project is draw our plants on this side of the paper then we're gonna very carefully be cutting it out. But once it's cut out, we're gonna flip it over and use the back side to be the finished side. So we, won't, we don't want any pencil marks or anything like that on the back side. Now, once you have this part of the process finished, what I'd like for you to do is very carefully try to take your piece of paper to a place that has good lighting where you can see the grid drawn on it and you're going to take a picture of it from directly above but I want to be able to check and see if your grid is drawn accurately for this step of the project um, and if you can give me really good lighting and take the picture from directly above I should be able to tell if your grid looks accurately drawn out.